Now, one of the things I always do before I start honing the guides is I'll take my fixture from Sun In and put it in there. This is a some kind of piece of high carbon steel. And I'll tighten it up and you just lightly make a few passes. Well, it's kind of hard to hold that some bitch straight. I don't mind telling you. Takes a couple of tries to get it right. But what that is, is this makes sure that the stone is perfectly straight. Now, typically, I'll do this every couple of ports. Now, remember what I tried to show you in some other ones. I've already hit this one, but I always come from this side first. Wow, a lot of difference in measurement on that stone. And All right, let's see what we got now. All right, now we got it. I actually got a booth and a solvent tank, but I'm out of that, and I'm fixing to get it refilled. It's just they've got that stuff up to... Uh, almost $400 a barrel now. I can't believe it since the last time I bought some. It's went up 100%. But anyway, I'll get a full stroke pass. Come in here and then I stop. And then I'll just do a primary check. This is an intake valve. Alright. I make sure it passes through on this end. Now when I turn the heads around the other direction, I'll go in there and use my measuring tools. It's just a little bit to the tight side now, not much. I can barely get any wiggle out of it. It's more of a feel thing. But I'll go ahead and hit this side right here and uh, go on down the line and when I get these like I want them, of course, I'll turn it around and that's when I'll hit the measurement side. You just absolutely have to do this. You have to hit it from both sides. There's just no other way around it. work on the valve guys. I mean to tell you, chopping them down, trimming them, and then bullet nosing them, and then layering them into the roof. But anyway, just wanted to show you how I go in there. Every valve set of guides I do is hand on. This ain't nothing special. It's just good practice machine work that you do to them. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this side, turn around in a minute, hit the back side. In setting the gauge, Typically what I do is I'll measure the stem and you have to do this separate on the exhaust to intake because there's going to be about a half thousandth different. I'm coming up with .3420 exactly. Then what I'll do is on the exhaust I'll add about a thousandth and a half or 1.5 clearance. I've already set the gauge but I'll show you the procedure. Then I go in and get where it's barely got a snug. There we go. That's about 1.6. All right, then I go in here, like I said, barely show that I get a snug. Now let's go over to the guide. Okay. And then I'll go in, and right now I can't get it to push through. Like I said, you have to do the exhausties first which I'd be going here and then there and there and on the end. Then you have to come back and reset for the intake. So let's go ahead and do an exhaust real quick. All right. First thing I do is I'll shoot me some WD in there. Um, I've already 
hit the, the stone honer so we can go straight to business here. Now, always throw me a little bit on there anyway. Now, this completes the cycle because remember that I've already hit the bottom. And before I put any heavy pressure on the hone, I always do a light one first. And I'll come back. Check it with my gauge. And then I check a valve. Yep. See, the thing about these china heads is their inconsistency on their guides. Um, you got to watch that with them. And there's another area of inconsistency that will blow your mind that I'm going to show you when I get done with this. So... Now then, there we go. That's the feel I like right there. That is just perfect. And I know that's going to give me one and a half thousandths. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Alright, so that's basically you get the measurement off the stem. This is a four digit meant to toy you, Mike. I try to use the good ones. I'll add a thousandths and a half to 1.6 on the exhaust and on the intakes I go to about 1.2 or 0.012. So, and some of that clearance is also built into the valve itself. So I'll go ahead and finish the guide work up, then we'll be ready to do the valve job. All right. Our area, while we're on the guides, I wanted to go over real quick. Let's zoom in. Although these heads say that they're for a 530 guide, you would not believe how many of these are off as much as five to eight thousandths on the top. <laughs> then when you go to put your seals on there, you'll tear up the seal because they're not exact. The china heads are worse about it than any of them. Most of the time, the dart heads and the Brodex heads, they will put a, a better guide in the head. That's hats off to them for that. So I take me a 530 PC cutter on a drill. See right there, I can tell you I would have had a problem. I'd have tried to put the 530 seal on it, and it would have, it wouldn't have been the right clearance, and I'd have probably tore up a seal and had to come back. So I've learned a long time ago just to take this and It don't take but a minute. But I will promise you, by doing this, you will not tear up a $30 set of Vitons. All right, so that right there concludes the valve guide work. Uh, it's ready now to do the valve job and do our uh, multi-cuts on it and the rest of the trim work to complete it.